You don't do it at a restaurant, but that's impressive. Do you want to say my name's Romeo, and I'm actually a Romeo in real life as well? I mean, look at me. I look like a douchebag. Hey, how's it going? Hey, man, how's it going? You must be Romeo. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, man. Hey, you look name... more like a Romeo, though. <laughs> I was just about to say, with a name like that, you were made to be in the first oh, date's restaurant. Thank you, man. <laughs> Come on through. I like to take care of myself. People associate taking care of yourself as in you're up yourself or you're arrogant. But I look at it as in, you know, it's the Italian side of me. I like to dress good, I like to smell good. I attract all types of girls, but the problem is not in the type of girls I attract. The problem is a lot of girls can't put up with reality. Hey, man, how's it going? They're not bad, they're not bad. Yeah, good. Oh, cool. Oh, um, I get like really sensitive to ice. I get like swollen tonsils. Is oh, it okay yeah. if I just get um, tap water? Yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. Cool, thank you, man. No worries. Yeah, it's... Are you after a drink or? Mm. I only drink water. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else, just water, milk, and something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. I need a girl that can put up with intensity. I'm quite intense. This water tastes pretty good, eh? I like girls that are really strong, built, um, a little bit of muscle. Our next lonely heart is wrestling ballet Shani. Could she be Romeo's Juliet? My wrestling name is Miss Rivers. She's known for being so loud, being so... ..fun in the ring, but... Sometimes always a little bit of a bitch. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Yeah, excellent. Come on through. Okay. Oh, I like pretty eyes, I like good hair. You know that good looking face. The face that runs the place. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. How are you? Oh, good, thanks. Okay. Good. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the f Oh my god, what? Oh, yeah? What? Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Ah, that's something you don't do at a restaurant, but that's impressive. Do you want a seat? Yes, please. <laughs> Didn't mean to place for you. Yeah, well, uh, I feel kind of surprised about that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so how's, it, how's your day been? Yeah, uh, well, it's been an interesting day. You look like you've got an interesting mix. Like, what, what ethnicity are you? Uh, I'm actually part someone and half Welsh. Oh, wow. Some yeah, Welsh, what, what are you? Um, do you want to take a guess? Are you Spanish? Um, no, so my mum's Russian and then my dad's Italian, so I've got that little mixture. Yeah, get oh. really olive in um, summer, okay. and then in winter I just go like real pale white, so like vampires, you know. Okay, oh, yeah. well, fantastic. Sorry, I just got so carried away talking to you. Um, would you like anything to drink? Oh, yes, Any alcohol? please. Yeah, water, man. I kind of um, don't drink, just a personal thing, but... Oh, you don't drink at all? No, I don't drink. Oh, yeah. yeah? Do you yeah. have a particular reason? Um, it's just because I've been an athlete for about 17 years, so... Whoa! Yeah. So what do you do as an athlete? So I used to be an Olympic wrestler, so <gasps> I used to no! be... No! No way! Freestyle wrestler. No way! Yeah. Oh, my God. That's why I tried to... Um, that's why I was like, ah, oh, surprise, you know? I'm quite... I'm yeah. not that big, but... Yeah. Still got the technique. So I started wrestling when I was about four years old for the Russian Olympic team. And it's quite a common thing in Russia. We wrestle in school, primary, it's a compulsory subject. You have to wrestle. That is so cool. Yeah, so at the well, moment I'm doing... Speaking of wrestling, yeah. I'm a professional wrestling manager. What? Yeah. Actually? No, really. Okay, so that, that's like a perfect match then. That's really good. That's actually impressive. I didn't expect you to have that tone on that. Her drumming blew my mind. She's very gorgeous in a different way. Oh, wow. Okay, so I want to know... Yeah. What's something really weird about you? Something really different. Okay, yeah. 
You see me as the most beautiful woman and like I'm doing very well at what I'm doing. But I was actually born autistic. My mum found it very unusual for me to not talk. I was then diagnosed at two. So I was actually in special needs schooling. I never learnt my autism until I was 13, uh, at the time when I was in high school. So by the time I learnt about autism, that was completely more about how I learnt about my maturity and how I can deal with things and how I would deal with my own adult life. So it's been a long journey, that's for sure. I'm very thankful to have like all the support that makes me feel smart. Yeah. It's the main thing why did I become the confident woman if I've become now to travel or to do wrestling or to own a business. And to meet someone like me. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, that was because it's love and family. Yeah. It, that's why like everything all combin combinating together makes me feel like a real person. I do feel alone. Especially with autism, I want someone who understands like how that all works. Sometimes you just really want someone in your life. I really appreciate you sharing something like that. I mean, yes, thank you. I, I respect the fact that you know yeah. you feel like you could express that to me. That means a lot. I have a different perception of odd to other people. I thought that was, uh, I thought that's beautiful how she's different. To me, odd is someone that's actually normal because they don't understand the struggles of a person that's going through stuff. So I find that odd. Yeah, I can totally understand where you're coming from because yeah. I struggled with depression and social anxiety all my life nearly, and I still have anxiety. Like, sitting at a restaurant, I'm like, really, well, you're really doing a good job. I used to look at people on TV or magazines and be like, I will never become a model. I could never become an athlete. Then I realised, you have problems like this, but people go through stuff worse. So you've got to be thankful with what you have and make it work. I think this is love at first sight. Okay. Because um, as soon as I saw this meat, I fell in love. Uh, <laughs> yes, he looks sexy and he definitely looks like a gentleman for starters and that's how I like it. Hold on a minute. Just because you have a jacket on, I can't see what you did about your little okay. muscles. So can you pull it out? Do you want me to do it in slow motion like this? Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, can, I well, you. can you... Look, have a feel. Uh, How's that? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I gotta put my jacket on now. Aren't you really hot, though? Pretty sure she likes me. I've done underwear modeling. Oh. Yeah. I got offered to be a porn star once, too. And I thought that was a joke. But someone said I had the look for it, the body for it, and they said, why not for money? Oh my god. <laughs> I want a model to show people you can live a healthy life, but I don't want to show my dingling, you know? This date is definitely not like any other date I've been on, because we did some stuff that you wouldn't do on the first date, but we actually pulled it off, you know? <laughs> not that small or anything, I just don't want to show it on camera. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done? What's the most craziest thing I've ever done? Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something really dumb right now. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this off. Done. Look the same. Yeah, and I'll take these off too. Wow. They almost look like pubic hairs, except they're not. Okay. They actually look better without the eyelashes. It's more, it's more natural. There you go. That's what I look like naturally. It's really cool that she's up for anything. That means that she's already built trust and she's similar to me. She can feel the energy. So that's really rare where someone can understand you on the first date. Maybe you should burn them. Oh, why don't we? You want to burn them? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Hold up. Let's do, a, let's do an eyebrow ritual, okay? Okay, let's burn them. Whoa. Yeah. You, you don't need to have fake things. <coughs> There we go. That feels much better. I feel alive. Yeah, and it looks the same. Hey guys, this 
lost your bill. Thank, Thank you. you. Well. So. I'm going to pay the bill. You're going to pay it all? Yes. Wow. You are bloody nuts. Nuts? Why? You're nuts because you're going to be paying for everything. That's okay. I mean, uh, that's the least I could do for you coming all this way. Oh, my God. You just seems like a really beautiful person. So I'm definitely going to pay for someone like that. Oh, yeah. There you go. That is fantastic. I could not have asked for that. This date was actually very opposite to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a disaster. And it ended up being a nice, fun experience with someone that understands stuff just like me. Oh, yeah, you might want to look that up. Hey, do you want to look it? Since I paid for the bill. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, look it up. Oh, oh. Mm. oh, oh that feels so God. good. Seductive. Hey, so the latest and cool, iron. thank you. It's even got your tongue print on it. Oh, yeah, that looks great. We've got a pretty long tongue. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I reckon we've got a lot of similarities, so I would definitely like to see her again, yeah. Hey, fellow wrestler. Oh, yeah, hello, tag team. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good? Yeah, pretty good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Would you like to go on a second date? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was actually really good, eh? Really? Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed myself. That was awesome. You're very different, and really, we have a lot of things in common, so I definitely want to see her again. Well, good to hear. Well, actually, this had been the most weirdest day I have ever been in. Oh, nice. There's lots of crazy things going on, yep. and I just want to be friends. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, I do want to see you again. It's just, yeah, maybe not a weird ass day. Yeah. I think we should catch up sometime. You have my um, Instagram. Yeah, So of let's course. catch up for a wrestle sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll put you in a match and it'll be good to oh, yeah, you and I. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hard. Okay, sweet ass, I'll catch you up. Yeah, no, cool. thank you so much. No worries, have a good day. All right, day. you yeah, too. Bye.